Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the hypotenuse leg congruence theorem. So this congruence theorem is a little bit different than the previous two we looked at, side 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 and side angle side, because the hypotenuse leg deals strictly with right triangles. Okay, so with the right triangle you know we have two legs and then we have the hypotenuse, which the hypotenuse is the longest side, and it is the side that is the diagonal side or the side that's opposite of the right angle. So hypotenuse leg works only for right triangles because really it is the side side angle congruence theorem. Okay, so why not? Why does that not work with other triangles, right? So notice how I wrote that side side angle. Maybe some people might refer to it as angle side side. I'm not going to write those three letters down right now. You probably know why, but uh, we'll call it SSA, right? So why does that not work? Well. We have an example here of two triangles that have two sides that are congruent and a, an angle that is congruent, but it's not an included angle, right? So if I take this side right here, I can move it um, left and right. I've put this, this horizontal line at the bottom. Um, so I could move this side like that, right, to where now it's, it is the same as uh, the other triangle. Um, and as we can see here, like these two triangles are congruent, but I could easily move this side over, and now obviously those two triangles are not congruent, even though they have two pairs of congruent sides and one pair or one um, included angle. But that does not work. It's not a congruence theorem for all triangles, okay? This only works for right triangles, and that's why we call it the hypotenuse leg congruence theorem. So here's what that looks like. It says, if the hypotenuse and a leg of a right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and a leg of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent, okay? So this only works with right triangles because of this 90 degree angle right here. Because basically what that tells us is, yeah, we have side AB, so hypotenuse side there, that's congruent to side DE, so the hypotenuses are congruent. And then we have another side. So let's say side AC is congruent to side DF, okay? So now, this is different than the diagram we looked at the beginning because these are right triangles, so we know this has a fixed angle measure. We know this angle has to be 90 degrees, so that tells us that this remaining side also has to be congruent to each other, okay? So that's a little bit about the hypotenuse leg congruence theorem.